Media, Iona Hutchison from Charterhouse School. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Iona Hutchinson. I'm the Director of Admissions at Charterhouse. I've been at Charterhouse for six years now. That's a long time. time. I know. It's a very special school because I'm an alumni. So, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm very excited to learn more about what's happening there. Um, so, Iona, can you tell us a little bit about where the school is located and the curriculum that you follow? So Charterhouse is, we are literally just outside London, so about 45 minutes from Waterloo, which is really convenient coming out of the train out of London. We're also sort of 45 minutes from Gatwick, Cornwall, yeah, and 45 minutes to Heathrow the other way. So it's in great location, it's in beautiful countryside, and it's really great for our international families who are zooming in from overseas, and they can get to the school really quickly, come watch a match on Saturday afternoon, or whatever it is that they would like to do, and it's, yeah, it's a great location, really nice. I, I completely agree. I, I love, uh, you know, Princess Avenue. When you kind of come up, come up, up from Godwin Station and you know into that like, beautiful lane of those trees, literally kissing one another. It's so beautiful. It is. Well, the campus is is really rather special. I think it's what <laughs> yeah. all the students that leave. We say, what is the one thing about Charlton House that you absolutely love? And they all say, the campus. It has that incredible feeling about being part of it, wanting to contribute to it, be involved. It's, it's rather special. So it's really yeah, definitely. And uh, tell us, tell me a little bit about the curriculum at Charlton House. So we follow the IGCSE program um, with year nine, the first year, our 13 year olds will have a sort of foundation year where we introduce them. It's really cool, all the great stuff. Like they do about 15 different academic subjects, <coughs> they try every sport, every activity. It's a real sort of, let's see what sticks type year. Yeah. Then they, we narrow down a little bit for GCSE, so they do two years of GCSEs. And then for the sixth form, we have a choice of A level or the IP. Fantastic. And do you have more students doing the A levels or the IP? We have more doing the A levels. We have roughly 50 each year who will do the IB. Um, and that sort of fluctuates a little bit, but it's sort of been quite simple in there. Most will do the A But um, we spend a lot of time helping students decide which is the best route for them. So some, they really suit the IB program, and others, they really want to focus and specialise on the end of it. So a lot of time goes into that. I think it's really important to have that kind of option and, and the counselling behind it, right? Which, which, which one should I do and why? And, I'm sure do that really well. It's really important because most of our students have absolutely no idea what they want to do, which is absolutely the right thing. So there's lots of help and lots of guidance. And I think for students, what they've really got to think about is not closing any doors. So it's sort of keeping the options going. 100%. Yeah, but really focusing also by the time you get sick from all the subjects that you really want. I think mean, that's really, really important. That's crucial. Something you really want to get off the skin on. So, you know, when families are thinking of sending their children away so far, um, you know, safety is a huge concern. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, as, as an alum, I, I know that the best role parent child has is lovely. There's always a matron, there's your housemaster, and your teachers are you know, the extended version of your family almost, and everyone's there to support you. But if you can talk to us a little bit more about, you know, the, the formal structure of best role care. Sure. I think well, one of the, the really big things about child house is the campus. Yes. So, that makes a huge difference. We now have 15 boarding houses, a couple more than you were there. Yeah. Um, and we've also changed the boarding house structure a little bit as well. So the campus gives us that really lovely safety net. Um, and all our houses have our house master or house mistress or heads of houses as we call them. And they also have two resident staff as well in the middle of the house. Um, and we have matrons obviously as well, day matrons, and it's it's really strong for care. There's always something there. And for us, it's all about eyes on and making sure that they are safe and happy and secure and they have somebody to go to. So the whole support system is adult-led on one side, but then also we have whole peer support with the students and our sort of upper six students, our sixth form students have a real responsibility of looking after the younger members of our community, but also the sixth form that join us in the lesson. Um, and that peer support is fantastic because sometimes students just want to talk to student rather than an adult maybe. Of course. And we also have the peer support that you have somebody within your house but also in a different house. So if something goes a little bit awry within your house, you've got somebody in another house with children. Yeah, that's so such a good structure. It's a really yeah. great structure and I think the kids really love the responsibility of doing that themselves when they move up to school. But I think for our our students, especially the right family the whole system where we buddy them up together, make sure that they know where they're going to yeah. start with, but that they're happy to settle to school. If they get that bit right and everything else just goes I completely agree with you, and I think one of the unique things about Charlton House is also you know, the, the, the relationship with the students and the teachers. I mean, I still, I mean, you know, not to this book, but some of the teachers that I had, and um, I remember each of them very distinctly. And you know, I, I think that you can walk up to them and ask a question whether it was academic or otherwise. And I think the teachers, you know, we call them beaks, um, 
they they really make an effort to integrate into the community as well. So they do, and they yeah. they really know them. It's just they really really yeah. know them, and I think that is so important. So <clears throat> that's what we get from the candidates as well. Yeah. And I think you know what we're really passionate about is just making sure that we don't lose a child with the subject they're struggling with. So the whole tutor system works into the house masters and heads of house sort of system, so that we can just get in there and educate. So you know, if there's a subject we're really struggling with and they don't want to say anything, we're in there. So that it doesn't Love turn it. into something yeah. else, and you know we can help them and support them. So we work with the parents on this as well. You know, kids might go home, but talk to their parents on the phone and say, "I'm not understanding anything about biology," but they don't want to tell us, and the, you know, the parents will tell us, and then we can sort this out. And that's what it's all working together. That's how the relationships work. That's excellent. So you know, we spoke a little bit about the beautiful campus that Charles House is, and I completely agree with that. Can you tell me about some of the new buildings that have been built recently? Oh, yes, <laughs> we've got loads. Well, it's been really exciting. So our move to go fully co-educational was yes. uh, for nearly five-year program. So when we first said we're going to do this, um, we set up the 2021. Um, and that gave us, what, four years to really look at the whole way the school was running and the whole way that it was structured for the do. One thing we had to do was build two new boarding houses. So we decided to build one for girls and one for boys. We felt it was actually very important, not just to focus on one for girls coming, but to keep that balance. And also the way our boarding houses are structured, so we have some in the central of the school and some on the other side. Old houses, new houses. Old houses, new houses, and now even newer houses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just to confuse me. Yeah. Um, so what we did is we moved one of the old houses out into one of our new new houses, so that we could put a girls' house into the central school. We didn't want all boys in the centre, the one that you went to. Yeah. But we didn't want all boys in the central and then And actually the move to current has been so fantastic, we're now converting two boys' houses into girls' houses over the next three years. So that will give us get more to the picture. And there's also a fantastic uh, sports centre. The fantastic sports centre is another one. It was it was indeed there. Ah, oh, okay. tell me about it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sport. I mean, sport is, is so important. such an important part of school. We don't Absolutely. mind what sports students do, just as long as they're stuck in and involved with a sport and yeah. something very very seriously. And some just love to be part of it, and we just want them all to get on that coach, go and represent their school, be part of. Team. Oh, yeah. So, so, so important. So, there's we've done loads of work on our Astros, for the hockey, uh, sports center is amazing. It's not an incredible gym, but a new major youth sports I love it. I mean, it's a great, it's a great experience. And there's also um, like a maker studio on campus that's like something relatively new. A maker studio? Uh, um, do the 3D printing. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yes. Well, that's like, that's one of our next projects. That's art and design technology. Yes. And with science. So we redid our science in 2018. So that was the chemistry and the math side. And we're just finishing up in physics and biology now. And that is incredible. And we're trying to pull that all together with STEM subjects. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. Really exciting. There's lots of fantastic resources. Great. So, you know, I know many, many families in there, I'm sure you know, look at boarding school as a stepping stone to higher education. Mm -hmm. So, if you can tell us a little bit about um, university destinations that Carpenter students end up at in the UK and internationally. Well, our students is definitely, it's, it's a great because it's that opportunity to just spend two years in a really safe environment to just have a go and try lots of different things. Learn to board, learn to be away from home. It is, it is a super thing. I would say the majority of our students go to the UK, but we see more and more each year in America. We have probably about 50 each year that will actually apply to American universities, whether they go on or some batch, probably between 20 and 30 go. Okay. But we have US Council that comes in and helps organise all of this side of it, the universities, the ACTs. We have quite a lot of European universities. Some will think about art college and go, music college, but I think the majority come out an academic college, okay. actually. But with lots of different streams to the those, with lots of different interests and lots of... And, and Charter has has the infrastructure to support students wherever they want to go. Absolutely, absolutely. And they are really, um, you know, stellar. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they are, and they're really, you know, they're ambitious. And they work together as a team, that's what I love about the team. Yes. So they really support each other in where they're working at, where they're going, and they feed off each other with different ideas of different courses. And I think about that, and I love that. That's a real boss. Yeah. Awesome. And, I, and I know that many students also aspire to study at Oxbridge. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have any you know, extra training or extra classes that prospective Oxbridge applicants have access to? Yes, absolutely. We have a head of Oxbridge who prepares all of this. Again, that has got more obvious over the years. It has yes. indeed. No, that is a job in itself. So, yes. And if they're looking at all of these things, then it's quite good. Yes. But that, that, that's good to know that they actually have, that there is an extra specialist and someone spends time with them because that application process is very different. 
Thank you so much, Ayana. And like my last question to you is, what, what one piece of advice do you have to prospective students looking at top house? Um, my advice would be come and visit, come and have a look around, and come armed with all your questions you can ask. Absolutely everything you can ask for. So we will send our students around um, with the prospective students. So you know it's really important for them to visit and talk to the kids, so to speak, just to get a real feel of what it's like for them on the ground. But the advice is also sort of interview us as much as we're interviewing them interview yeah, us it's really important looking for that lovely fit and we want to make sure that they that they think this is the right i absolutely love that because i think when you walk into a, the campus of any boarding school there's six steps in your garden and i know that happens to my mum and she she went to all of them and i think when she kind of drove to the princess and she was very <laughs> so um it is a feel it's a it feel is. and you're looking for that fit and sometimes you can't quite predict it but yes it is about the atmosphere the and I think I think they'll pick up on the original.